Hello everybody, welcome to Last Outlander. It's a game, early access. It's, I don't know, I played it like a couple of seconds and then I exited because I remember I wanted to film this, so... Um, it's pretty much a single player game, game, whatever, with semi-open world. This is how you look, this is the world you can punch, then have trees and things and double wielding, whatever. So we need to harvest some uh, three health berry bushes for our orc that we saved. It seems like an interesting game, at least for the beginning. I don't know for sure it's gonna be interesting or not later on, but for the moment it's quite nice. As you can see, the orc we need to save is right here. The orc girl right there. She's uh, either masturbating herself or trying to die, I don't know for sure. I hope he's trying to die, because that doesn't look very family friendly, and I don't wanna get sued. Uh, I will try to let it pretty much cut scenes. I don't know, I don't remember it having a lot of... Uh, Actually, sounds, but let's fucking taste this shit. Let's make. I'll make it from stone and sticks. Okay. All right. I yeah. So you you read the type. You read the. You read a little. What the fuck do they call the speech bubble? Text bubbles. Man. Text dialogue bubbles. It's burning. It's burning. Burning. It burned my hand. Yeah, I'm trying just to film something and... Uh, the girl is trying to burn herself to a crisp. Okay, place the fuel right there, place the berries right here, speed up for free, and we got a bowl of... We got a bowl of G's right here. Okay, now we're gonna go and feed the bowl of poison, uh, I mean uh, medication to the work. And now cuts it. Hey, Zomori. How do you feel? Thank you. I feel nice. Hey, what's hey. up? Okay, she looks at you with interest. These are well lands, you know everyone for themselves. And you helped me, not like others. You look different too. Fuck! Our history tells nothing of humans. Only orcs, dwarves, elves, nightmen, where you came from, I wonder, and why now? And you also have some choices, like uh, good choices, evil choices, and mysterious choices, and shit like that. Where you came from, I wonder, and why now? I thought you'd tell me. I'd like to know that for myself. Let's go mysterious. I thought you'd tell me, hmm, your kind may know more. I saw another one like you near the George. Dead trapped that place. Doubt the survived. You got after that human, you're both dead. She examined you. You have no claws, no fangs. Beast of the George will be happy, but I know how to help. Zena gives you a sturdy axe and armor. Okay, thank you very much, Zena. You'll survive. Your path leads there. When you return, you know to call me. Hestadarama Homa. Okay, Xinya. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Perfect. Okay, as you can see, now we actually have a proper armor. We also have like double wielding things. I already told you that. The world is quite nice, it's still in early access, so if you want to download it now, now I think it's the best chance, because generally when it's in early access, you get a lot of... Um... We also have encyclopedias, if you're interested about the monsters, the goblins, the resources, the buildings, the whatever you want to know. And now you understand the concept of the game. Great concept, now let's just get straight into it. I don't think it's going to be a lot, a long... Um... A long video, probably like 7-8 minutes, because at least you'll understand something with a little bit of combat. And if you're interested in this, you know how to do. Leave a like and comment on- Oh, fuck your plant ass bitch! Yeah, combat that whore. You take this fucking axe into your mouth, you piece of shit. Yeah, weak carnivore. Wait one second, I don't think I have equipped the new axe. Equip. Okay, now let's see it. Yeah, yeah, it's much better combat related. Of course you find sticks, I saw, you already saw the blueprints, this is a battle pass. Is this a battle pass? What the fuck is this? No, never mind, this is just uh, your combat, like, uh, workshops and things like that, so it's, it's not actually a... 
blueprint, whatever. Yeah, you already saw how many. Fuck your ass, you piece of human trash. You're a fucking. Oh yeah, that da damage is different. I'm also gonna let a little bit of sound on the next combat, so at least you can hear the sounds of the game a little. And just let me know if you guys think I should do this more often with sounds and things like that in game. Okay, you have the combat, I think you, you can figure the shit out of yourself. Decent music and shit like that. Let's talk to the human and let's see if you have a text. So we didn't manage to do it. As you can see, another two choices. We can either examine the body or first check if he's alive. We're gonna just examine the body, you search his pockets and find a large paper map, in another pocket you find a pistol and a few bullets. This map is an incredible value find, you might show it to Zena when you get back to camp. As soon as you step away from the body the phone started ringing, we can answer the call or drop the call. We're gonna answer the call. It's the demon. Got everything, now run, don't look back, who the hell are you, are you following me? Let's just go, are you following me? I'm not the only one, but I'm the only one who wants you alive. Run. I was looking for you to kill and you're already dead. You disappoint me. Humans should not be here. No one lives alive. Perfect. The adventure begins. Return to Xena. Well, at least... Uh we somehow managed to stay alive. I would like to sing staying alive, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, but uh, YouTube is so fucking dumb for that these days, even if it hears like there's a, the correct tonality, is gonna fucking copy strike you immediately. So I'm not gonna do that, but imagine that. Just me doing that. Or well, I think I can do that, but like extremely tone deaf, so they don't figure out is the correct song. But if I do that, I think. I'm just gonna hurt everybody's ears. Especially trying to be tone deaf at this. Oh. You survived the Gorg. I guess the other one didn't. You came back alone, but every death holds a lesson. It's important to learn it. Think what the, that human gave you. Some kind of map. These runes are not orcs. Someone else drew them. But I don't need runes to read the path. It leads to the Mount of Zuras River, across the mountains, the country of the little folk. You need a guide. Can you guide me? No, I don't know mountains. But the dwarves do. They remember every path they've ground into the ground. Their memory is longer than their beards. Okay, I'd like to see a but the dwarves... The little folk live in a small town in Brash Hall. They might help you, but not for free, laughs. Remember, the dwarves care only about profit. To get treasure to trade, go light-handed. Hordes, hordes of fangers and goblins roam the copper forest. The weight on your shoulder won't help you in a fight. You can leave your spares here on the coast. Make a chest. I'll keep an eye on it. May the wind bring you luck. Takamara Shakaka. You're lucky to have such a companion. Life taught Zena to survive, and Zena can teach you. Follow her advice and don't forget about mine. Back at the George, you saved me, thank you. You think I need your advice? Let's go with you, think I need your advice. And now the beast is angry at me. 
Like, without me, without him come back from the Gorg alive. Let's see if they also have skills. As you can see, it's a semi-base builder with chests, things like that. So I'm just gonna place my first chest here. So we got workshop, tanning, sawmills, loom, foundry. Holy shit, there's quite a lot. Airships. Ship. Oh, that fucking looks awesome. Okay, let's open this. Stack to Zena again. Okay. Toch Kadla Olander. I made a chest. Yes, this chest is great, except it's full of nothing. <laughs> Let's now stack up the chest with food. I'll leave your bellies empty. Don't let this rich greenery fool you. A drought can always come and famine with it. Better grow our own vegetable and berries. And now I have... What do I have to do or gardening together? How romantic. Let's go with romantic. Is it? Uh, look at the face. I wouldn't know it anyway. <laughs> Orcs don't desecrate the ground by digging. But it's not a problem for you, is it? Your religion doesn't forbid it? Don't make a... F so we have... There's no such thing as forbidden to me. Don't make fun of other people's religion, woman. And I also got unless it's a Saturday. Let's go unless it's a Saturday. Can work on Saturdays. Hmm. But you got to eat every day. And a good garden will always feed you. I collect a few stones and logs. Figured you'd need them. Go on then. Once you're done with the gardening bed, grow health berries in it. It's essential for survival. Okay. Let's do our first uh, gardening. Garden bed. Damn, that's a giant fucking ass garden bed. Oh. Oh. Where do I put a gardening bed? And we have quite a big ass land possibilities here, so I wouldn't want everybody, everything to be so close together. So let's place the garden here. Yeah, let's place the garden there, like next to the, the because the chest, I kind of placed it quite far away. No, it's quite good. Okay, gardening bed, and now I can literally just place the berries right there. And they're gonna speed up for free, speed up for free. And now we don't speed it up for free because they want cash. Okay, let's see the chest then. And let's just put some uh, of our meat. And I guess, you know what, fuck it. Let's place the gun as well because I know exactly how to... I don't think I want to use it at the moment. And let's just eat the soup. Okay, and let's just keep the soup on us. Yeah, that should be good enough. And now we also have this uh, chest right here for her mysterious chest. Takanaka naka, Olander, happily. I have a present for you. I love presents. Human saved me and I want to repay. Local forests are teeming with game and gomlis can are full of equipment. Weeks, maybe you can win. I'll put in here everything I get on the hunt. Don't forget to check the chest daily. What are you waiting for? Look what I found for you today. Day one reward is available. Five health berries. Whoa, the rewards on this shit. Damn, look at the rewards they give you just for singing in every day. Yeah. And white light jacket. Okay, that's awesome. Thank you very much. And are you wearing... Yep, she's wearing underwear. God damn it, developers. Well done, health berry fits and here is it, 2-1. You know who taught me that, dwarf? Speaking of which, there's a caravan track not far from here, long abandoned. Still, you might run into a trader's wagon there. You hunt a lot, so many materials go to waste. Build a tanning rack. We need nails. You can buy them from dwarves. If you meet a caravan, you'll have the building materials. Take the helmet. It can be dangerous on the trail. Keep your head safe. I really do like the system. The clothes are actually very on point and I really do appreciate it. So, yeah. It's already been 15 minutes, so I'm just gonna maybe continue filming this shit. Or maybe stop. What do you think, my youngling? I'm talking to you, not the fucking phone. <laughs> the phone cannot answer me. If you like it, go for it. Yeah, to have zero views on it, sure. Matters <clears throat> only that you enjoy it. Okay, so we either have, of course, it's one of those games with 100 energy. So we either run for 17 energies and we immediately get there, or we walk for 11 minutes. Let's just run. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, it's one of those games that you.
I really don't like this. Kind of, I mean, this one is interesting with the whole story and shit. So, I don't know. I do, I do dislike it because that means they don't have enough content to keep you going, going, going. So they need to kind of limit your play. That's none of my business, I'm here for the news. That's none of my business. Aren't you ashamed of stealing from the dead? No choice. You're right, why would corpses need nails? You on the other hand will find a use for them. I'm sure goblins have already boxed the loot, you should search their chest. Yeah, I don't really care to be nice in games, I always like to play the villain in games, so I... Oh shit, fuck. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself, you big ass fucker. Okay, like I was saying, I don't really like, uh, I don't really care being the nice guy in games. I always go with the, the more evil I can be, the more I will fucking be evil. Because I, I love to be evil in games. The, like, if, if you let me murder children in games, I will fucking murder them. Put their heads through a spike, I don't matter. Just let me be evil. This is how you stop murderers becoming murderers. You let us just be evil in game and we don't need to actually act on it. <laughs> no? Okay. Makes sense. Die, you fucking beast ass cunt. Die. 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 Okay, so the combat is not that horrible. Does it auto combat as well? It... It does not? Good. And you can actually change from melee to hands. Okay. I always appreciate it. I always appreciate games that let me change things. Okay, let's see the what's here. I need the goblin key to open it. Of course, I need the goblin fucking key to open it. Jesus Christ, to be opening it immediately without the fucking goblin key. Fuck the goblin key. Okay, so that's not the path we were supposed... Ah, oh, right, the path is right here on the left. My bad being a moron. Who thought you can go through fucking forests? And, of course, another loading screen. <laughs> Goblins are too busy diving up their, per their plunder to notice you. We have attacked them. Hey, have you seen the damn key around here? The wood next to them is rotten though. Leave them alone. So if I choose the wood next to them is rotten though, that means I'm gonna try to make it fall in their head. Let's see. Oh my god, you actually cares about my chances and you're gonna make the, fall, the tree fall down on them. Because it, it was me thinking. He actually used his fucking brain. He gives you the key, take it, just don't kick, he runs away. Oh, okay, so... The game actually gives a fuck about your choices. So I... So the... Even though the dialogue was kind of weird, like, the... The... the Wood next to them looks rotten. If you use your brain, I'm guessing you already know what that means. But that's fucking nice, actually. Okay, we're just gonna collect the goblin chest right now with everything. That's perfect. Let's see if we can. Uh... Okay, let's see quest items. Okay, what's this? Okay, what's this? Are these pants better than my pants? Let's see here. Okay, you cannot see it unless we change it. Okay, that I don't really care too much. Okay, let's just take the nails to Xena and then we can finish this episode. Because I don't think I will be filming anymore or not. I will definitely be playing in my spare time, but I think I'll be filming it unless it reaches at least 500 views. Or 20 million views. <laughs> I'm joking. There's no way that it reaches 20 million views. But still a great game if you like to try it out for yourself. Uh, the name as always is in the title. And um, hey, stop staring at her boobs. We all know you're doing it. So shame on you and shame on me and shame on everybody. And shame on you. Mm -hmm. On you. Hello, Xena. I am here. 
Outlander, I found nails and a bunch of dead doors. I found the caravan, but I didn't find the nails. I found the nails and a bunch of dead dwarves. She listens carefully to your story about the cavern and ambush by the goblin. This is terrible news. The little folk do not deserve such suffering. You found what you're looking for, but dwarves have to pay for it with their lives. It's time to build the tanning rack. Come back when you're done. We'll learn how to make armor. Oh, yeah. can definitely learn how to make a tanning bed. Okay, let's see. So I'm guessing because it's tanning bed, I will be also putting it. Oh, shit. I don't have enough fiber and stone. Let's see what we got in the mail. So we got the skin. Oh, oh they literally gave me the the necessary res res resources. But I don't have space for the necessary resources. Can we upgrade the chest? We can with different types of things. Or you can pay diamonds. How about you suck my dick? Hmm? Huh? How about you suck my fucking dick? Okay, sorry about that. Let's go with the tanning rack. I don't have enough fucking stones. 9 out of 12. Oh my fucking stone head ass bitch. Okay, so just gonna take me a couple of seconds for the goddamn stone searching situation. Even though I also have the blueprint to the pickaxe, so we can do this. But we don't have it. I didn't build it yet, so at the moment I'm not gonna be building it. Let's see if we have enough now. Oh, okay, this should be enough. It's not that big of a tanning rack, so that's good. So I'll just put it right here next to the chest and roll it, roll it, roll, roll, roll. I don't know which one is the correct way, so I'm just gonna put it like that. Okay, we did the tanning rack and uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, and let's see what Zena has to say about our tanning rack. Outlander, the tanning rack is ready. Now you can make armor. You need a tanning rack for that. You can produce rope from facts and use them to make armor and weapons. Okay, thank you very much. To survive you need weapons and skill to use them, but even the best armor won't make you immortal. Watch and learn. Attach a sharp stone to a stick. See how easy it is? You are ready. Gives you an axe. Now human can make his own armor and weapons. Your path will take you to the copper forest. The land of dwarves. Make friends with the little folk. Without a dwarf's guide, the mountain will swallow up. Okay, thank you, Zana. I'll give it a cry. May the spirits watch over you. May the spirits also watch over you. Huh? What? Well? What's up? You wanna give me more shit? Not enough space in inventory. Ugh, oh, fucking inventories again, I fucking hate them. Seems now we can actually make this sort of be better hammers and shit. We also got blueprints for pants and things, which is quite awesome. Okay, so we should also make another chest, purely because this one is growing darker. And we should also, also, if you're all ready to believe this shit, I'm about to tell you. Can you guess what I'm about to say we need to do? Hmm? Take more wood and make another chest. <laughs> so just start immediately with three chests in the base. I think that's the best option. Even though I don't see to have... Okay, I just need one more wood. Maybe I can find one more wood just lying around or do I need to murder the tree for it? I just need one more wood forest. One more wood. Oh, right there is one more wood. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, my stick now. Welcome to Barnadash. I don't give a fuck about your Barnadash. Okay, let's just make another quickly, another chest. Ah, uh, fuck it, let's place it right there. Okay. And we should also make some room in our inventory. And let's see here. So we're just gonna take these bushes. And we don't have enough space. Fuck me, yes. Okay, we're just gonna do it like this. The left chest, left, left, left chest. It's gonna be with things like this. Okay, that can create other shit. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna keep it with me. And the middle chest is gonna be with food. Okay, middle chest is gonna be with food. And the right chest is gonna be... What's the one right chest gonna be with? Alright, let's go with the right chest for armor and weapons, I think. Yeah, fuck it, weapons and armor on the right chest. 
the middle chest should be with food. Like I fucking said earlier. And the middle chest should be with these weird things that I don't necessarily know anything about. But I don't actually have a chest with resources or like grass and shit like that. So I'm just gonna put them at food at the moment. Just so I can uh, get rid of them. And let's go and cook also. Let's cook some food. Just gonna quickly kill the dry sprouts right here and then I'm just gonna quickly end the video because this has gone on for 25 minutes which I think is quite enormous and giant. So that means it's a nice game, it's, nice, it's actually a very nice game if you'd like to try it. So let me just put my meat right there with some this and it's gonna be 3 minutes until that shit is done and I don't have that waiting time so let's see if this bitch want anything more or I just need to go fuck off or she has a sub quest. What can I do for you? Look at the sky, the sun is getting higher. When it gets to the top, it will roll down into a cold and dark. It's the day of the winter turning point, when Big Brother, the great warrior, conquers the peak of the mountain. We're going to have a feast in Big Brother's honor. We'll cook a lot of food, only I need something. I'll bring you what you need. I need a lot of things, but let's start small. And thanks for helping. Gather, get, so, gather five hel health berries. Uh, again with the, again with the fucking health berries, I guess. You know what? If she likes health berries, who am I to judge her likeness? They are around my giant fucking tree forest either way, so the main base area, I guess you can call it. Okay, let's just collect the five berries and then we can end the video. What the fuck is this? Lake. You and Zen are pretty lucky. The Exile Shore is a great place to camp. Good view, fertile soil, and a whole lot of fresh water. And if you found water, then you also found fish, an endless source of food. It remains to figure out how to catch them. If you can survive in this world for some time, you found materials for fishing rod. The key word is if. I think the key word is if you go suck a dick. What about that? Hmm? The key word is you sucking dick. No? To me? I think I have collected five penis berries. What the fuck is this? This is fax? Yeah, that's fax. New entry, wild fax. So I didn't know about the wild fax. Okay. Glad to know that game. It's not like I collected... Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna judge you. Let's just give this bitch uh, the berries. What the fuck is this? Grab the berries, ho. Outlander. I brought the ingredients. The sauce will give the dish special flavor. Almost done. Only the last ingredient is left. Three raw meat. I already got that, bro. Oh, right. I put them on my... Fuck, I need to... Wait a second. I thought the middle one was put. Nope. Nope. Well, I don't remember which one was put, but I know for sure I have them right here. So let me just get, grab some of them. Sorry. Split. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, okay, so I also grab some meat. Just gonna quickly give that. Perfect timing, takes the ingredient, throws them into a cauldron, now I have everything we need, thank you a little more and we'll eat enough. Here, do you want to try? Well, looking problem is a good threat in out of Big Brother. You're a wonderful host, stop lying outlander, I've already tried this, it's disgusting. Would you have poisoned yourself out of politeness? It seems that after such a fist, Big Brother won't help me. This is possibly. I learn everything. Fortunately, orcs fist rarely, so you're in luck. Today's treat won't be easy to forget. I hope this will take away tastes. <laughs> you're weird, bro. Okay, it seems we have a secondary mission. Our home is beautiful, but we're not the only ones who enjoy the blessing. Why if we don't teach them a lesson, filthy bastard will sense our weakness and attack? Killing goblins work for me. Goblins are coming here from the copper forest. Pay, pay them a visit, make them understand the shore is our home. Have a good fight, outlander. Uh, thank you very much, Xena, but right now I'm kind of busy, so let's see, it tastes... What the fuck is this? This is dead. Okay, let me just place the wood and then we can end the video at the 30 minute mark. Yes, I did say the 30 minute mark. The 30 minute mark. Let me just make another chest. This will be your resources. Okay, let me just... 30 minutes mark is coming fast, it's coming fast. We just need to quickly sort our shit out. 
Ah, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck it. Ah, uh, it's gonna be 30 minutes and a couple of seconds. Look at the boobs. Bye.